So welcome to the free kickoff call for um, the Creating Your Life program that we'll get to later. But so what brings you guys here? And what is creating your life? Um, I had a very different point of view about what creating your life was earlier. Uh, I would, um, I was, I had a business, I was expanding it and I was, um, uh, it was so-called my passion, uh, like design was something that was absolutely, I thought was my passion. And I was sort of defining myself from that space and everything had to sort of fit into that. And, uh, and I had a business, um, um, an advertising and design brand creation and this communication design firm. And, um, it, and I had team, I had people creating with me, but it was always like really, like the more I was going into creating it and creating my life, the more it was becoming like this sort of a space that I was uh, feeling kind of locked in. And it was becoming a little difficult for me to actually even create beyond. Um, I kind of was, you know, really started looking at, hey, uh, if this is what uh, I'm creating, and then for the next uh, 10 years or 20 years or 30 years, what would my life be like? And I got the sense of, wow, if it's going to be just like more of this and uh, just like bigger clients or more money and more, uh, you know, better car and a better house. Um, and I could see the sense of that. And I was like, okay, is that it? Don't tell me that's it. <laughs> Cause that is not like that, like, I looked at the world around me I knew something else was possible, like most of you would, like when you look at how other people are being or what the world is going, what's going on in the world, whether that's politics, whether that's uh, with people, whether that's bodies, whether that's the planet. Uh, and I was like, wow, like if I'm just going to be one of the pawns of uh, where the world and the life is happening to me, uh, and I'm just like, you know, just about managing to uh, live my life, which was also like a very linear way, like, you know, how it is that you, you, uh, you know, you're born, you go to school, you go to college, you get a degree, you get, or you might skip one of those. And then you uh, get, uh, you have to find a person, uh, to, you know, to live your life, to, to share your life with, and then you get married and then you have children and then you do your jobs and then you go on vacations. And, and I was like, wow, that can't be it. There has to be more than that. And uh, so when I really started asking, what would I like to create as my life? I went blank. I had no idea what is it that I desired to create as my life. And uh, yet it just seemed like this possibility of that, that question might invite me to knowing more of that. Because before that, I wasn't even asking it. Nobody had asked me, nobody around me was asking themselves and I hadn't really asked myself. So even though I was living my life as by my rules and I had a happy you know, marriage and, but I'd sort of locked myself into that defined space and I was looking, a, like looking for a way out. Now my invitation for you with this is, what if you were not looking for a way out? What if it was really about, really about choosing and looking at what can you add because i started really destroying my life and i was burnt out my body was like uh, exhausted for doing the stuff that was not bringing me joy um and i i was not it was really i'm so grateful for the tools of access consciousness but i really started asking even before access came and I started asking, there has to be something else as possible. I know a different world is possible. Where do I start? What the hell am I doing on this planet? And when I really started asking that, 
access consciousness and a whole lot of other things started showing up that gave me uh, you know, bits and pieces and questions and possibilities and uh, choices that uh, started changing everything in my life and still do. So what if it was about not getting out of it? What if it was about looking at what is going on um, in your life and what choice is creating that? So if you even pick up anything in your life currently, whether that's one thing or five things that pop, whatever that might be. And now get a sense of what, whatever that is, that's, that's working for you, let's say. Let's start that. That's not working for you. Look at that and now ask what choice is creating it the way it's showing up. And everything that doesn't allow you to perceive, no be and receive that, would you be willing to destroy and uncreate it all? Right, wrong, good, bad, pop, pop, online show, boys and beyonds. Because that was a huge gift. Like when I actually got to know that uh, I am the creator of my life and the life is not happening to me, I really started becoming aware of where all was I functioning from. It's happening. Which was basically where I wasn't willing to own or claim that I was choosing it and that is what was creating that. And the other is what we stick ourselves the most with. So when I got these tools, I started changing everything, right? And I was like, oh, you know, my, my, my marriage and relationship is fine. Don't touch that. Uh, let's look at, you know, the business and the money, how we can make it easier. My clients I was working with not really, uh, it, like it was not joyful sort of pro the, all the projects I think one or two were like that were fun for me and most of them were like you know that I thought I had to have to create my business uh, expand my business but I really started looking at okay now let me look at my relationship which I think is absolutely good and awesome and I like don't touch that you know I don't need to touch that and I really started looking at so now look at anything that in your life that according to you is good whether that's about you, whether that's about your body or it's about your relationship and it's about anything that you're creating. Now, what choice is creating that? And everything that doesn't allow you to perceive, no be and receive it, would you be willing to destroy and uncreate it all? Right, wrong, good, bad, pop, pop, all natural boys and beyonds. The thing is, we actually stick ourselves the most when we are looking at what is good and that's absolutely perfect. We don't want to touch it. That actually is keeping everything else locked as well from allowing it to show up different, from allowing you to show up different, from allowing the other person you're actually creating with to step into more and different. So, um, um, I'm going to, I hope this, this is helping so far. And if you have any questions about this, I know Angela says, same thing happens with me. Uh, my willingness to create my life, I would like to be the CEO of my life. So everything that doesn't allow that, destroy and uncreate or times gazillion. Right, wrong, good, bad, pop, and boys and beyond. So what is being the CEO of your life? So everywhere that you have given, uh, so let's say, let's look at the relationship, right? That my relationship was really good. So there were a lot of areas where I had blinders on and I did not want to see that something else, that something was not, not that could, something could change, something could show up different because I was like, this is good. So I don't want to change this, which was actually not allowing anything else to show up which was also sort of confining me to, um, uh, to having it to maintain it, right? So when something is good, the bad, we are like, let's get out of here sometimes. Sometimes we absolutely love it. So, but the one that really stick us are the ones we've defined as good. So, uh, so if I've defined my relationship as, as, as something that actually makes it good, then then it cannot, then I cannot create beyond it. Like I cannot create 
uh, I cannot see where I'm sticking myself. I cannot see where I'm sticking that person. I have to maintain it. So where in your life, what area are you, are you maintaining it? That if you let it go, will change everything and allow it to show up greater. So everything that doesn't allow that can be destroyed and created at all times. Kazilian. Right, wrong, good, bad, pop, pop, online shows, boys and beyonds. So um, Indrajit has her hand raised. Um, I'm going to allow you to talk. Hi, Indrajit. Would you, did you have a question? You're muted. So Indrajit asks, it's how we mold our expectations and the stages of life may restrict choices. However, I'm the one to make these choices. Guidance helps. Yes. Um, it's also uh, the willingness to ask a question in areas that you might, um, okay, so one is, it's how we mold our expectations and the stages of life may restrict our choices. Brilliant. And do you see the brilliance of that? Now, when I got to know that, wow, I'm the creator of my life and I am creating everything, I was like, wow, I can actually create something different now. So it is really about becoming present with what you're choosing and what you're creating. And where can you go from here? Now let's look at all the areas uh, of your life. Are there any areas of your life where you're dropping the ball, where you're sweeping it under the carpet, where you're like, I don't want to see this. Where, and that could be anything. It could be from your body to your relationships, to a particular relationship, to money, to life, to business, to creation, to everything that you can be and do and create to uh, the home that you live in, to the spaces that you choose. Now get a sense of if you were living your phenomenal life, a life that inspires you, what would that look like for you? What would that look like for you in terms of you, in terms of your body, in terms of your uh, life, in terms of your uh, job, business creations, in terms of um, travel in terms of the people that you have in your life in terms of money and finances what would that look like and what would that look like now what would that look like in five years what would you like it to be in 10 years what would you like it to be in 20 years what would you like it to be in 50 years if you're willing to go that far out now what do you require to choose today that will actualize that So everything that doesn't allow you to perceive, no be and receive, that can be destroyed and created at all times. Right, wrong, good, bad, pop, pop, online shop, boys and beyonds. There's so many things that we can actually be and do that we are actually already being and doing that we don't even acknowledge it. We don't even value it for whatever damn silly reason that the moment we start can actually start contributing to what is it that you can truly create. So everything that doesn't allow you to perceive, no be and receive the gift that you truly be for you and for the world and for the planet and for the future and the future generations can be destroyed and create all of that. Right, wrong, good, bad, pop, pop, all nice, of birds and beyonds. So if you actually look at it, did you guys get a sense of what is it that you would like to create as your life? So when I really started looking at that, it was then, it was really had to become a moment to moment choice of actually becoming present with even in the areas that I didn't want to be present with, even in the areas that made me uncomfortable. Two, actually, when you start choosing that, then, you know, when you start asking what, would, what, what do I desire to create or 
uh, let's say if you have anything you can shoot a question and we'll see we can look at that as well but if you start looking at anything that is that you desire to create or create in your life or you would like it to show up different you then if you just ask okay i'm choosing this okay whether that's traveling uh, all over the world whether that's having uh, uh, people in your life who actually cheer you up into being more of you and being the uh creating your inspire creating a life that inspires you creating your phenomenal life for you to actually show up is greater every single moment with every single choice and choose greater uh creations that inspire you to be more of you whatever that might be then everything else sort of comes into contribute whether that's a home it's a car or it's a you know uh palace whatever that is but when you start actually choosing when i started asking i didn't even know it was possible for me to have people who could really truly have my back i didn't even know what that was cuz i had surrounded myself with people who were judging me mostly and i thought that judgment was so where where have you decided that judgment is the way to improvement or to be more of you what if you didn't have to improve what if you could be everything that you can be right now right here and what if you have with people who actually can see more and more of that nobody can see all of it are you willing to see all of it no <laughs> the gift that you be but what if you could start asking the more i started asking that the more those people are showing up who who contribute to me actually stepping up more in whichever way without a point of view what that has to look like because it never shows up how you expect it to i hope this is making sense to you guys um i'm at a stage in the he says i am at a stage of life when i will want to give back to the society for what it gave me during my life what did it give you during your life did it give you you or did it give you shit did it give you judgment or did it give you uh a space of ease and peace and the phenomenons you be and can be so everything that doesn't allow you to perceive no be and receive what is it that you're truly aware of without any point of view would you be willing to let that go does that make sense in the jeep what if it was not about giving back because then you would have to give back all the silly judgments and stupidity that other people sometimes choose that is actually not so awesome it gave you everything you expected and what were you expecting so what if it was when you start creating your phenomenal life it filters through everyone and touches everyone and they can they have more choice and more possibilities if they so choose the moment we go into the thing of that i have to help someone or i have to save someone or i have to now give back what are you giving back what have you decided the exchange has to be what if you are here truly to receive and what if receiving is the gift that you be the more you're willing to receive someone the more you're willing to receive someone for, without any point of view or receive anything or receive you without any point of view and with total allowance and kindness does that create more for everyone and what you could start asking is rather than giving back because that is again this reality and the polarity of i've taken so now i have to give what what are you taking what if it was not about taking what if you were receiving and what would that look like for you and here's a question you can ask every day with every choice if i choose this what would the world be like in 5 years if i don't choose this what would the world be like in 5 years with every choice you make you're creating a different possibility you're creating something now what would you like to create and what choices can you make that will create that and then that actually becomes beyond this whole thing of lead, leading your life linearly 
because when you're leading your life linearly, you are actually, what, what are you doing? You're saying, hey, I was born and I'm going to die. So, and I have to do these five, 10 things in, in between, and I have to do them as successfully as can. But what if your life was way beyond that? What can you create that would actually be relevant in the future? What would that look like? What does the future generation require of you today? What, what does the world need? Not people, what does the world need that only you can provide that you haven't provided yet? Those are the few questions that you can start asking that actually allow you to choose, include you in your choices and create greater possibilities for everyone. Not just for you, not just for your business or your job, not just for your bank account, not just for your kids and not just for your family and not just for your friends and not just for your colleagues and employees in your business, but for everyone. And everything that doesn't allow each one of you to perceive, know, be and receive who are here online right now and who will ever listen to this in the future, would you be willing to destroy and create all of that times because of it? Right, wrong, good, bad, pop, pop, online shows, boys and beyonds. Rekha says, can you please talk about continuous creation? Absolutely. Um, one of the things that, again, that what we do is that we create and then you, like, you stop. Then you create and then you stop. So, what would it be like if you were always creating and you were never waiting? And what would that look like for you? So, um, for example, this call or the classes that, that are coming up. Now, what if, if you can look at them as, okay, creating your life program is one thing that I'm, cre that I'm creating and everyone who's creating with me and you guys who are part of it are creating, creating it. So if we are creating, whoever has that demand in their world, whether they've found it or yet or not, are creating this. Now, creating your life program can be seen as this one class that is being created by Ina Basur and whoever that is, and uh, is for her business, and it is this. So that's this way of looking at it. What you, what we are creating, let's say, for example, with this, is not just one class. We are creating uh, not just three months program, but we are actually creating a different possibility and a different future. So we are creating the future. And we are including the future here and now in our creation. So it cannot, so then you get out of this whole thing of that I'm going to create this class. And then after the class is done, I am done and we are done. Which is how majority of the people function, where you function from, I'm, I have a project, I have to finish it, then I'm done next, you know, that checklist thing. Uh, I have to buy a house, then I'll buy the house and then, and I have seen, I have an architecture and design firm as one of my businesses. And I have seen like how that, how certain people stick themselves with that thing of uh, that, you know, their project and their main target and aim is to finish their house. Have you ever seen anyone who has a house and they're done with it? Or there's always something required to create it. There's always something required to, gen to be generated, to create it, to be nurtured, to be taken care of, to be changed, to be added. So when people are functioning from that thing of that sort of a dead end or a destination, then they are creating everything and slowing everything. It's an extremely slow way of creation when you're actually creating linearly, when they're thinking that this is what is supposed to be finished and this house has to be made so they can move in and they do everything in their power, which is using their capacities and their potency to actually create anything into slowing it down into this one fixed definition. Whereas when you're looking at, hey, it'll be a nice to have uh, looking at the energies of the house, it'd be nice to have a nurturing home that actually contributes to us and our future and our bodies. And what would that look like? And what can we choose today? Then you can start adding and creating that, all of that starting now. And you can always be in the motion of creating it. So where in your life are you actually doing it from that? Creating something from that where it's a destination. 
when you're actually creating from the home of inf you being the home of infinite possibilities, everything is possible and you're not functioning from linearity. You're never done and there's no destination. You're always creating. So everything that allows you to perceive, nobody and receive that, what's true, what would that look like for you? Would you be willing to destroy and uncreate all of that? Right, wrong, goodbye, pop, pop, all nature, boys and beyonds. So it's really, really willing to ask what's next. Okay, what do I desire to create? And what can I be that will create that? What can I choose today? What can I add today? What can I be today? Who can I talk to? Where can I go? Uh, also, what's next? And then what's next? And what requires my attention in these 10 seconds? So when you have, when you start adding more things to your life, a lot of times, like how much have you been told you can only have one uh, job, a one career, a one, you know, a relationship, a one family, a one, uh, whatever that is for you, a bank account, um, a one income stream. What if it wasn't so? What if you could have as many as would be fun for you? So let me ask you guys this. How many things do you require to be going on in your life for life to be inspiring, fun, and joyful for you and your body? What are the numbers you get? You can type it. And do you have that many going on right now or not? And if you don't have, then you start, you continuously create crap and shit and burnout and exhaustion. Uh, Rekha says 25, I love it. Uh, five and no. No is four. And no, you don't have five going on. Cool. And this number also keeps changing when you're kind of reaching the five, like even before you're reaching the five, the moment you choose the five, okay, five, what are those five things that I can have that actually create my generative phenomenal life, then those things, then be willing to see when the energy is shifted and that number has gone from five to something else. Uh, and that number starts changing and also start looking at where are you using that number to actually create crap where you could use that to actually create many income streams, much more uh, fun and joyful creations. And, and I wonder what would that look like for you? So everything that allows you to perceive nobody and receive that, would you be willing to destroy and uncreate at all times Brazilian? Right, wrong, good, bad, pop, pop, all nature, boys and beyond. There are looking at anything in your life right now. I don't know whether you guys are doing jobs or you have your own businesses or both or more. Get a sense of what is, what is it that comes to you with so much ease that you absolutely, absolutely don't value it. And you can do it all day long for free. I love it how everyone's going, yeah, cool. Now, can that make you money? What would that look like for you? And is it one revenue stream or it can be many? You have to be willing to look at what are the different things that can be created from that. Like with just one class, like just one, this, this call, let's say, at least, at least five more revenue streams or income streams can be created. So it's just about asking, okay, I've created this, cool. Now what will it, can this be a five more income streams? What would that look like for me? And then you start doing that with everything that you're being and creating and including uh, the creation, including money, including wealth, including possibilities from that rather than discarding it. So the moment you do, fun you're functioning from that linearity of I've done the class, I'm done now next. You, you, you start killing it. Whereas when you actually choose something, it's always about creating a future, whether that's having a baby, whether that's a conversation, whether that's a, 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 a relationship, whether that's business, whether that's a creation, whether that's a class, whether that's a product, it's always in creation and multiple things can come out of it.
if you are willing to ask for it you have to be willing to ask for it and receive it it never shows up how you expect it to so if you if you go into your logical mind you will actually block it but when you're functioning from the awareness of allowing it to show up and ping rather than looking for answers it will show up like let's say for example you're at a party and you're talking to someone and that person is saying something and you just ask okay and if if that person is having a conversation that doesn't work for you what if you could say okay i'm here now right now in these 10 seconds with this person what information does this person have for me what is relevant for me here what's the conversation that i would like to have and that person will start talking about and giving you the information that could create something different now or in the future you don't know like the guys that you actually let's say example you go to a hotel or a restaurant you tip someone if you've never functioning from that it's done this is a one time job and i'm never i'm i'm going beyond it i'm i'm never going to be visiting this place again then you're shutting that down but if you're always functioning from that possibility of hey i wonder what did this conversation create or i wonder what where can this go you never know how it's going to show up in the future and what contribution it can be so when you are actually truly creating your life and you're committed to creating your life and you're committed to your life even if you don't know what exactly it has to look like but energetically you keep getting the sense of it you do not resist anything and you're willing to receive anything that's coming from any direction without a point of view and be that space of what's relevant for me here be the space of that question what's relevant for me here what information is what's what's in it for me and you start getting that information or what that is sometimes it could be a business idea it could be a job offer it could be a partnership it could be another creation it could be someone who knows someone who knows someone who can actually contribute to you so you never know how it's going to show up but so i'll just give an example like i we were looking for some we, we, our business is sort of exploding and uh, so you have to be willing to change at the drop of the dime you have to be willing to go what is what's required and what will work so um, so this um, um we were looking for people let's say in just one area i'm talking about for website development and uh, uh, design and uh, and digital marketing and all of that we were just getting a sense of we don't know exactly what that's going to look like and we're also looking at someone who will actually get actually get the sense and be willing to be the voice of the earth home and our businesses and so we were really looking at what that's going to look like now we have an hr head who is always looking at acting with people and always looking at um who can contribute who is asking for what we can contribute so it's not just a one way street so it's awesome right when you find someone who desires to create what you want them to create and then you work together and create together who way to pay right so they actually um uh they actually came uh, so she's always looking and we have some interviews lined up and we've meeting and we haven't really got that thing of that this is it this is the you know this this team or this person or these people we can add for that specific job and um and one of the things that showed up on on my website the the enabasu.com website was that suddenly we realized that we can only receive from one currency and we would love because it is global business we would love for it to receive uh uh people be for people to be able to come on and buy internationally so what's required to create that and that was seeming like a you know something that was pinging us and so we started i we started asking what what needs to change and what would that look like for us and also at that moment when it was bugging us and bugging me that what the hell why is this why is this why don't they have this we were like okay what's right about it and at that moment i got to call someone and ask them hey do you know someone who can look into this payment module which is different from our current thing and they were like no but we there was something over there that i was aware of 
because I got to ask him. So I asked, okay, what else is possible here? And within few seconds, he messaged me back saying, hey, why don't you talk to this girl, uh, this lady? And uh, I messaged her and I spoke to her and she started uh, looking at it and she got three other people involved until 1.30 at night, they were looking at that and changing it. Now, they might not have it had an immediate uh, solution or immediate creation for that, but what that's created is we like, huh, you know, is she the person? Should we meet her? So we actually call, uh, asked our HR head to actually connect with her and say, hey, uh, can you meet? And it just so happened we were all at the same time in the same place and we met. So when you're actually always creating, you never check out. You're always present with what's required, what's pinging. Uh, if you get a sense to pick up the phone, like one of the things, great things that I've learned from Gary Douglas is to always pick up your phone. He always picks up his phones. He says you don't want to procast it in the sense that you want to pile it up and I'm going to deal with it later. So where in your life are you putting things aside that you will deal with later? And how big that pile is that you don't even want to look at it. When you're actually creating your life, there is no pile. You're always creating and you're always creating more. And the moment the pile is, you know you're checking out and you can actually look at that pile, even if it looks like shit, even if you don't want to deal with it and ask a few questions from it. Okay, pile, what's it going to take for me to actually outcreate this? So everywhere in your life where you're dropping the ball that you're not willing to see that is actually you're putting aside and avoiding and adding as a pile that someday you will deal with it. What is that creating for you, your life, your money flow and your body? Your body is aware of those piles. Do you have piles? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Do you get how this works? So be willing to be really present and always be playful with your life. It's your life. If you're not going to live it, who will? So I'm going to now look at some questions. Um, so in the details, a goal in life by all of us with goal posts shifting as per our perception. I actually don't understand what you what you mean by that, Indeed. And also, what if you didn't have goals, you had targets? Goals, uh, if you actually look at the original meaning of goals, uh, it's jails. Uh, so how many jails and how many goals do you have that are keeping you um, always failing and never succeeding? Everything that that is can be destroyed and uncreated all times, because it can right wrong, goodbye, popcorn, Asha, boys and beyond. Rekha is asking, when, are, when we are saying done with the class, we stop receiving the class that we have attended. You stop receiving, you stop creating other possibilities. You actually are basically giving up on your life and you're quitting on you. Because the moment you conclude, conclusion is always quitting on your life. But the moment you conclude, ah, this is the answer. Ah, this will make me rich. Ah, this will, like, have you ever noticed that you said, this will make me rich and uh, did, how did that money turn out? <laughs> how did that invest, investment turn out? Uh, this relationship will make me happy. How did that turn out? Did it make you happy or are you miserable? Like, start getting the sense or are you trying so hard to be happy so that you're not miserable because you decided that this is a relationship that will make you happy. So everything that that is, everywhere that you are functioning from conclusion rather than constant and continuous creation, would you be willing to destroy and uncreate all of that? Right, wrong, goodbye, Pakman, Shabbat, and Conclusions are always quitting on you and your life. Uh, and what you want to actually do is, is commit to your life because when you're committed to your living and to your life rather than you, it's beyond definition because it's always changing. Have you noticed? Have you noticed your life is always constantly changing? The world is changing. You, you have different choices than you had 
than you had a week ago or a month ago or a year ago or 10 years ago. So uh, are you still living in the same house or you're living in a different house? You're constantly changing and your life is constantly changing. So when you're committed to your living in your life rather than you, then you can constantly keep changing and sh create you as whatever is required for you to show up as in your new and different life, which keeps changing. Does that make sense? Because when if you're actually creating you and committing to you, how many definitions do you require to stick yourself? And then will you be able to really create your life? Or you have defined yourself in such a framework that you can't get out of. When you're actually creating more, okay, let's look at the sense of whatever your bank account and your uh, net worth is right now. Now, and if you haven't looked at your net worth, have a go, look at it, why not? What is your net worth? Um, now look at uh, what if you are the most valuable product in your life. Now look at if you were, uh, if your net worth was 50 million or $100 million, would you be committed to being who you are being right now or not so much? Will you, a, will you be even be able to actually be a multimillionaire or billionaire if you're committed to you or you would have to be committed to your life, not even the 50 billion, but having that financial, uh, your financial reality, whatever that looks like uh, for you start getting a sense of asking yourself, what is my financial reality? What would that look like for me and destroying it and creating your financial reality from yesterday? So you always keep creating yourself as something different. So what if you were willing to destroy and create you every day and every night so you can show up as different um, tomorrow? Because what I could be and do yesterday is so different from what I can step into and choose and be now. So what if it was not the same thing? In fact, committing to you and what you have decided you are is actually limiting you from creating. So what definitions do you have of you? And you can put in your name in it. What definition do I have of Ina and Ina Basur? Uh, or what definitions of Ina Basur am I using to keep me from being all that I can truly be? To keep me from being all that I'd be? And everything that that is, destroy and create all times causally. And right, wrong, good, bad, pop, punch, boys and beyond. So what definition do you have of you that keeps you from being committed to your life and living with total ease? Everything that that is can be destroyed and create all time, all of that times causally. And right, wrong, good, bad, pop, punch, boys and beyond. What definitions do you have of you that keep you from being committed to, and creating your, your phenom phenomenal life with total ease? And everything that that is can be destroyed and unclear all times causally. And right now, good, bad, pop, for all nature, sure, birds and beyonds. Uh, um, so I'm reading what you're saying in the deep. Most of them seem like the statements which everyone can see. And if you have any questions, do type in. Um, Radhika say, uh, sorry, I did miss something from Radhika. So um, Indajit says, money is not a priority for me presently. Want to look for joy and happiness and avenues. And uh, so what have you decided money is? That it actually isn't. And everything that that is, would you be willing to destroy and unclear all times for the year? Right, wrong, good, bad, pop, pop, all and shall boys and beyonds. So how many definitions do you have of money that keep you from receiving you with total ease? And everything that doesn't allow that, would you be willing to destroy and uncreate all times causalian? Right, wrong, good, bad, pop, pop, all nature, sure, birds and beyonds. How much do you get? Uh, there's this uh, uh, quick example. We're almost like on our uh, end. There's this quick example of this one person who um, there's this guy, I don't know if you guys know about this, uh, Steve Madden, he's this shoe guy, he makes these really awesome shoes for women. And a few years back, like in 2002 or something, he actually went to jail for some stuff that he did that he wasn't very proud of later on. And when he was in jail, he, 
um, uh, we were looking at a documentary of him. It's available on Netflix if you want to see it. I can maybe share the name. I don't remember it right now what the documentary is called. But if you search on Netflix, D Madden, you might find something. Uh, and he is basically, uh, uh, he's in jail. And uh, the currency, the currency, they, they, don't, they can't have money and cash, right? So the currency in jail is mackerel, which is this fish. Uh, so it's fish, the currency of exchange, if you want anything done in the, it was a valuable thing in, in the jail. And so by the end of it, he's, he was basically like, I land up with a lot of fish. Uh, by, you know, exchange, by doing things and creating things. So he then, everyone asked him to do a management course of how to create more fish uh, in the jail. And then he actually, when he left the, there are a lot of interesting tidbits of this, but I'm just shortening the story. But when he left the jail, he actually, all his, like he actually created this uh, organization which gave second chance to everyone who was in jail who would like it. And so he actually hired his inmates who, were, who then became part of his team in the jail to actually create this organization and contribute to more people. Totally different reality. So what have you decided money is that actually isn't? What are you defining money is? Is it you? And how much of those definitions are you using to keep you from being you? And who does that belong to? Everything that that is, would you be willing to destroy and uncreate all of that? Right, wrong, good, bad, pock, pot, all nature, boys and beyonds. What if you were the priority in your life? What if you were the most valuable? What if you were money? Money is just energy. It can be anything. It can be a body process. Is that you? Is that your body? So how many separations, how many definitions are you using to create the separations that you're choosing and everything that that is? Get over it, dude. Destroy and uncreate all of that times gazillion. Right, wrong, good, bad, pock, pock, all nature, boys and beyonds. I like this one, one sided energy. I can say it, whatever I want to. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> you can type if you want to. Presenting a viewpoint, a point of view, querying about new areas, actually continuing learning process of life. One continues to learn new things every moment. So listening to views being expressed in the class is part of the learning, even if it's not. Never listen to what I'm saying. Do not learn from me. I'm just giving you what I have uh, experienced and what I'm creating. But also I'm giving you a lot of tools and questions to ask for you to know that you know and what you know. So what do you know that nobody else does? Everything does like that. Destroy and uncreate all times. Right on. So Angela has her hand raised. Angela, do you have a question? Should I bring you on? Put a yes, say a yes. I'm bringing you on. Does anyone have any other questions before any burning desire, anything that's popping that you would like to look at? Um, cool. So then I am going to wrap up this call with in this invitation. We have a three month program called Creating Your Life Series starting August 1st. Um, the first month is, if you guys already don't know about this, the first month is, um, and they're going to be weekly calls. Uh, and then you would receive the clearings and you would also receive home plays that you can then use and reuse and ask away for the next week till we meet again. So we all can then move to the next um, to a different space and then move to a different space every every week. So first week is um, from snoozing to moving. Which areas of your life are you snoozing and where would you actually like to move to? Let's start. Let's freaking start already. Um, second is, and what, how about all of them? What if you could move beyond in all of them? Um, second is the... Uh, second month is, I know it, from just one to many income streams. So uh, 
it's funny since the time this has been created, I've also been getting where people have this point of view that they don't have any income stream. I don't know how they think they're living and they still are, have food and they still live, uh, they're still not on the streets. So it's, they still have the phone to be able to pick it up and talk to me. So, or call me or check on Facebook. So, so, so again, right, what if you define as money that's keeping you from all that you can be? So, um, so she, it was basically, it's from just one to many income streams, really getting the sense of getting down and playful with everything that you are creating and what you can create and how it can create even more for you and with you and generate way more than you can imagine. Um, if you had money, even, even if you're talking about cash and currency and dollars and rupees, what would the world be like? Um, and also going beyond the definitions of what money and income is. Uh, let's clear that shit and let's change it. And let's have a different reality and a different financial reality. Like one of the demands that um, I have is uh, of actually creating a debt-free future not just for me, but for the world. So what contribution, what choices can we make that will actually create that? What if you could have a debt-free future? What would that look like? Uh, how much more would you be generating and creating uh, if you were not, because debts are really past expensive. So how much are you using to create past expenses to stick yourself there? Whereas, because you know, if you allow yourself to go from move from snoozing to moving, you would create a totally different world. Let's do it. The third month is, um, it's funny, right? You're actually creating your life and the world changes. Let's, are we choosing it? Are we choosing it? Are we choosing it yet? Third month is, uh, if you're not, don't even bother coming on these calls uh, because we are going there. Third month is from just from only you to a team that creates to your power team. Who can you add to your life that will actually create, make your life easier and allow you to create the way you are capable of creating? What would that look like for you? Who can you add if you were a global multimillion dollar business or uh, had the, your phenomenal life, living your phenomenal life and uh, creating that is inspiring you and the world, what would that, who would you hang out with? Who are those people? So you're not alone on this planet. Even if you want to be, there are other people and we will go beyond that to actually including people way beyond that as well with and without bodies. Let's see what shows up. So, um, so that's the three, um, three months program. Now we have a special bonus for you. So if you're really interested in committing to your life, we have um, uh, 10 days of this book club of phenomenal book by Gary Douglas and Dane here, which is the home of infinite possibility. When you are being you, you are the home of infinite possibilities and that's the only true home. And that book, Rekha and I have been getting the snippets of it. The class was absolutely phenomenal, which was converted into a book, it has been life-changing for a whole lot of people, including me. And the book, uh, Rekha and I have picked it up again and we were looking at it and it's kicking our butts. So do not join if you're not willing to get your butt kicked and invited to a totally different possibility. So that's it. The bonus surprise is that if you join the three month program by tomorrow, you will receive the, you can get onto the book club for free. It's a bonus special offer that actually is part of this one. So if you're interested, come on board. And for now, I'm going to sign off. Is there anything that anyone would like to say at this point? Yes, Rekha. 
would you like me to get you on okay let me just get you on to the you'll have to huh, i see multiple you here wait is this you okay yeah so my question was the third month of the program where you said about uh, creating a team mm -hmm. okay so does it mean that also the people you collaborate with or, or could you give me more clarity on what that would like anyone who can you add to your life that mm -hmm. will actually make your life easier mm -hmm. what what do you require taken care of that will allow you to create the way you are truly capable of creating okay okay mm -hmm. so it could be anywhere from partnership to collaborations to co-create i wonder what it will look like for you because mm -hmm. it would be different for each one of us and different for each business each creation each possibility and it is on the third month so you would have um i don't know whether it's at the third month or it's the second month third but month. it is yeah. third month so it is also going to uh it's about really having your having a power team and that could be anything it could be your dog walker it could be your uh, uh you know i wonder what it would look like for you if all your areas of your life you were present with all areas of your life how many people would you have actually contributing to you and how much more would you have to be willing to receive and get out of your way that's been the fun ride for me because i mm -hmm. thought i am the one who get who can do it the best <laughs> you know there mm -hmm. no one can do it better than me <laughs> so <laughs> So I really started asking for people to show up who are far greater at it than I am and who can out create me. Okay. And the more I'm choosing that the more my world is expanding my business is expanding. So I it's really about getting out of your own way. Mm -hmm. A lot of committing to your life is getting out of your own way. and it can sometimes get a little uncomfortable hmm question i can't hear you if you are saying something you know i i actually missed in between the uh, connection just kind of was unstable so i missed what you said I said, would you like? Would you have another question? I hope that helps. Do you have another question? It does. It does. It does. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. That does answer. Awesome. You're welcome. And uh, Angela says, um, "Phenomenal call. Thanks for the contribution. Thank you for joining us. What else is possible now?" Um, cool. So thank you all for joining us and uh, those who will be listening to this in the future um thank you so much and what else is possible what would what would your life be like and what would the world be like if you were creating your life in your phenomenal life let's do this okie dokie thank you for joining and thank you for you even if you don't join for the call thank you for you and thank you for being in the world asking for a different possibility you're a gift